Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Monica. In today's video, I'm going to be cleaning my kitchen, my living room and downstairs bathroom and straightening up in the laundry room as well. I hope this video gives you tons of cleaning motivation. If you are new, I would love it if you considered subscribing to my channel. All right, let's jump right into this video and get cleaning. So right now I'm just kind of showing you what each of the rooms look like before I start cleaning them. They are pretty messy. I have a bunch of clean clothes sitting on the couch that I need to fold and put away. Things are just out of place right now. And I have my sewing machine out from before when I made those pillows from my last video. And I will be doing a little bit of a sewing project in this video as well. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is just put these dishes away that I had hand washed earlier. And then I do have a few dishes in the sink right now. I'm going to wash them and then I will finish cleaning up around the rest of the kitchen. I never felt tomorrow closing in this fast. Oh, I guess time's in a rush. Leaves are falling down, but at least they grow back. So now I'm just going to show you this product that I've been using. It's by Lemmy Shine and it is a shine and dry rinse and it just helps keep your dishes from accumulating any type of spots. If you have hard water, this works really well and I love that it is non-toxic and it works really good. So if you guys are looking for a product to eliminate spots on your dishes, um, this is a really good one to use. So now I'm going to be cleaning my kitchen countertops in here and for that I will be using the Mrs. Meyers Clean Day All-Purpose Cleaner and this is in the Snowdrop scent and as you can see I just ran out but I did purchase two when I bought this so I'm going to be using the same thing for the rest of the kitchen and then I will just be turning my oil diffuser on and I will be using some tangerine scented oils and this made my kitchen smell so good. I love the tangerine scent. But still I am here, moving on like before. I'm yearning to reach the shore. Now I know what it means to grow. So now I'm going to clean up my sink and I will be using the soft scrub cleanser. I love this product but I also love trying new things so if you guys have a favorite product that you really love to clean your sink with please leave in the comments down below what it is and I would love to try it out. Thank you. 
Okay, so now that my kitchen is all nice and clean, I'm going to show you how to make one of those super cozy blankets that you just kind of can throw like on the side of your couch or place in a really pretty basket in your living room. I have had this fabric for a while and I had my sewing machine out so I thought this would be the perfect time to make this. This project is so simple, you basically only need to know how to make a straight stitch. So what you are going to do is make sure that the two pieces of fabric are of the same size and then um, face them um, outward facing in. So when you turn it inside out, it's facing the right way. So right here, I just measured out my fabric and now I'm gonna make sure that it's even all the way around and then I'm going to pin it to a quick straight stitch almost all the way around at a little bit into the video I'm going to show you how I leave a small opening and then I will flip it inside out and then I will make another stitch all the way around to keep it from like separating or getting all weird and bunched up but this project is so fun it's so easy and these also make really good gifts mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's like cutting a wound in the bleeding heart It gets me But I know that you need it all Ooh, na 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 Just give me some time cause I need to know That you're staying Okay, so right here I'm just showing you where I have that opening. You don't have to have it as big as I made this one. You can make it a little bit smaller, but you want to make it um, big enough to where you can flip the blanket inside out without ripping any of your seams. So I'm just flipping it inside out now, and then I'm going to um, just do a quick stitch all the way around just so it kind of stays neat and nice. and. Um, what I'm gonna do at the opening is just kind of fold the two ends under and then I'm gonna sew that piece first. So now that the kitchen and dining room are all nice and clean, I'm going to head on into the family room and I'm just going to fold all the towels and um, the other dish rags and hand towels that I have sitting here on the couch. I'm also going to show you how I fold and put my hand towels away in the kitchen drawer. Going to be easy, but I'll try. Don't you worry, I'm not going anywhere. I will stay here. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how I put my hand towels away. 
I like to keep my handhelds and my dish rags really easy to get to so I like to keep them really close by and I don't like them getting like um, folded on top of each other or hard to get to or if you pull one out a ton of them fall out with it so what I do is I'll just fold them twice and then I'll roll them up and kind of stick them in here nice and snug that way I can get to them easily and I can fit a lot more in this drawer that way and then for my dish rags and cleaning cloths I keep them in this really cute basket right underneath my sink and I'll just fold them once over and then just kind of stick them in this little wire basket really nice and snug and everything's nice and organized don't you worry i'm not going anywhere i will stay here i will stay here and as long as my heart beats like a drum then i won't back down don't you worry i'm not going anywhere i will stay here I will stay here And as long as my heart beats like a drum Then I won't back down No, I won't back down How come the stars so now that the kitchen and the family room are nice and clean, I am just going to be moving on into the laundry room and I have a very tiny laundry room so there is not a lot of room in here to store anything or to have things laying around. So if I'm not on top of my laundry game, stuff gets piled up and it becomes pretty chaotic in here. So I am just trying to organize a few of my cleaning products right now. I like to keep the products that I use the most down on the bottom shelf and then I'm just going to wipe down my washer and dryer and I will be using the Mr. Clean Clean Freak Deep Cleaning Mist to wipe down both my washer and my dryer. Pouring down when it's gray outside It really makes me wonder So now I'm going to clean the floors in here and I'm just taking everything out of this room, this tiny little laundry room that I have, and I'm just going to use my Dyson to just pick up any lint or dirt or dust that's left here on the floor, and then I'm going to use my Swiffer to clean the floor in here. I like to use the Swiffer instead of the mop because it's such a small space and I use the Swiffer in this room and I also use the Swiffer in the bathroom. So now that the laundry room is all nice and clean and everything's neatly put away, I'm heading on into the bathroom that I have downstairs and I'm going to start by cleaning the toilet. I am going to be using some Lysol disinfecting wipes to completely wipe down the entire toilet and then I am just going to use some lemon fabuloso and vinegar inside the toilet to clean the inside. I like to use the vinegar with the fabuloso because I want to make sure that germs are killed and I do not want to use bleach and I love the way the lemon fabuloso smells. From so far away and show us where we are. It really makes me wonder. And to clean out the sink, I am just using the same disinfecting wipes. They do have an abrasive side, so it really helps get rid of anything that's been stuck to the sink and any type of hard water that has developed around the handles right here on the faucet. And then the last thing that I'm going to do in here is just quickly run the vacuum to pick up any dirt or dust. And then I'm going to be using the same Swiffer and I am just going to do a quick mop in here. It makes me wonder. I was never the one to write up a song for just anyone I, I was always the one to find myself lost in all conversations Oh, 
Cause I've always been told that things will unfold if you keep on waiting But then you came along and proved me all wrong, I was so mistaken Cause you glue all the pieces back together Yeah you, you take all my wrongs and make them better Yeah you, you're making me wanna try forever And I feel so free, oh my sweet baby so stuck I kept on playing my part wanted to give it because nothing was changing so the very last thing that I will do is mop the floors and for that I will be using one of my absolute favorite detergents I guess you would say floor cleaner um, this is my favorite it is Murphy's oil soap I love the way it smells I love that it's non-toxic and it cleans really well and I'm just going to be using that with extremely hot water and I will be using my Oceder mop for that. I love, love, love this mop. It is so easy to mop my floors now that I have had this. I've had it for a few months now. And if you guys don't have one, I highly, highly, highly recommend getting one. They make mopping almost fun. And I'm thinking out loud, we won't need nothing else for the rest of our time. And I know it so well. I'll always be by your side Cause you glue all the pieces back together Yeah you, you take all my wrongs and make them better Yeah you, you're making me wanna try forever And I feel so free Oh my sweet baby I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, I would love it if you left me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you are new, and I hope you guys all have an amazing day. Bye! I feel so free, I'm a sweet baby.